Hey everybody, uh, this is Eric again. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick uh, ankle series critique for you uh, so we kind of know what we're looking for when we take an ankle x ray. Uh, ankle is one of those ones that we do quite a bit. Uh, so, to start with, uh, we're going to start with an AP ankle. Uh, ankle series consists of an AP an oblique or a mortise view and a lateral. Here we have a right ankle and is what we need to be able to see on an ankle is the distal one-third of the tib fib and the proximal row of metatarsal bones right here which we see there very good. We're a little bit long uh, on the on the third of the tib fib and that's okay it's not not the end of the world ideally we should you know could have collimated to about right here um, you know laterally our margins are good we've got a skin margin here and a skin margin here as well as here so we're we're about as tight as we can get I, I wouldn't collimate that in any more than it already is uh, the only thing I would do differently on this one is maybe collimate down a little bit so we're not including so much of the the tip fib but you know erring on the side of caution that, that's probably okay so now we need to be able to see the the tibial tailor joint right here okay or the mortise joint okay and the fibula is slightly superimposed over the medial or the lateral tibia right here okay just a little superimposition there so that's that's pretty close to a true AP which is really good um, both malleoli both the medial and the lateral malleoli are seen in profile uh, you know all in all this is a pretty good picture of the of the ankle we can see that uh, Taylor tibial joint really well which is what you want to see okay okay not bad on the AP aside from you know collimating a little bit uh, too much horizontally it's a pretty good picture contrast wise we're pretty good we can see bony cortici really well you know we can see skin margins we can see bony margins as well with really decent contrast so good job on that one. Let's move on to the, the oblique or the Mortise view. Um, so when we say Mortise uh, view, we're trying to open this joint line up even more than it is on the true AP. You know, that's satisfied by uh, starting in an AP position and, and rolling that foot inward it opens that joint up a little bit more and we can also see the uh, the joint right here between the, the fibula and the tibia there should there shouldn't be any superimposition there so good job we can see an oblique view of both uh, the lateral malleolus and the, the medial uh, malleoli again we want to be able to see one third of the tib fib approximately distally we want to see uh, some proximal metatarsals right here which is good um, so like I said this this joint right here is the tibiofibular synd syndosmos syndosmosis syndosmosis that's a hard word anyway that's what that joint is right there okay anyway uh, collimation wise we're pretty good again we could be a little bit tighter right here but Laterally, we're about as tight as we can get, okay? We're able to see the entire talus, which is nice. Um, but all in all, pretty good oblique. Uh, just remember, for your oblique, you, you want to be able to see that, that mortise joint really well, which is, this is a good picture. You can see that really well. And that tibia femoris and this muscles right here, okay? Okay, let's move on to the lateral. Okay, good lateral. 
Okay, now on the lateral, you know, same thing. We want a third of the tip fib. We also want to see the plantar surface of the foot, okay, which we have this soft tissue coming down right there, okay. And we're not quite able to see the proximal row of metatarsals. Um, on this, it's not real critical, okay. As long as we're getting that front uh, Taylor joint, we're, we're going to be okay. So, uh, cortical-wise, contrast-wise, this is a really nice picture. We're seeing some really sharp cortical edges. And uh, the fibula is actually superimposed behind the, the tibia, which is what we want to see. So, and the, the fibula should be on the posterior half of the, of the tibia. Okay, you can see it coming down right there. We have a really nice joint line right here. The femoral uh, Taylor joint is, is really nice. We can see the talus really nice in profile. We have a really nice picture of the calcaneus as well. Uh, really, really nice picture, actually. So, um, collimation wise, we're good. We've got a skin marking coming down right here and one right here. This is about as tight as I would uh, collimate for a lateral ankle. Uh, we want to be able to see that Achilles tendon coming up right here. You, you can see that if you look closely. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. That attaches right here to the posterior calcaneus. It goes up the posterior uh, distal end of the, the, the lower leg. You know, if if you keep an eye on that, um, you can actually see an Achilles tendon rupture on an x-ray, which, which is kind of cool. Um, this one is not ruptured. It's, it's really patent, really nice. But a uh, very good lateral ankle. So we did a good job on this ankle series. Um, the only thing I would change on any of it would be... Uh, the collimation horizontally to tighten that up a little bit. Um, the technique wise are really good. Lateral collimation wise were really good. Uh, so anyway that's what you want to see on an ankle guys. Uh, if you have any questions again please give me a call here in Evanston or my cell phone number is on my email. Uh, I appreciate the calls and uh, thanks for your time. We'll see you on the next one.